Hi, I'm Vinny Paselli. I'm the director of the Milford Point Day event. And we're here at the, uh, the Audubon Center in Milford Point. Uh, this is the first year, 2010 is the first year that, that uh, the Milford Earth Day project is cooperating with uh, the Audubon Center. We hope that that, that uh, friendship and that, that partnership grows over time. Uh, this year we're going to be doing projects like, like picking up trash on the dunes, uh, and clipping invasive plants down the uh, private access road here next to the center. And, uh, and also inside the property as well. Uh, this piece of property is important because it's a very historic uh, piece of land right here. Uh, it, was, it was inhabited for centuries by Algonquin Indians. It was a great place for them to come and set up straw huts and, and collect uh, 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 clams and oysters during the summer season. It's a great summer place for them. Uh, it, it, later on, uh, the early settlers came and copied them, did the same thing. Uh, in the late, in more recent times, about 1850s, this was a hotel. Uh, it was very popular for a long time as a hotel. And, and into the 1920s, it was uh, a great place for a uh, businessman from New York City to, to come into anchor uh, offshore and come to the hotel and, and have dinners and things on weekends. It was great for that. Uh, later on into the 30s, it uh, became a place where duck hunters would come. wildlife that's here on the property and has always been here. Uh, later into the, uh, after that point, the, it, it, the, uh, the hotel experience started to uh, fade and, and, and during World War II it was a, a radio station, a radio outpost for the Army. Uh, uh, beyond that, it sort of closed down for a while and, uh, and, and uh, in, the, uh, in the 80s there was a lot of interest in buying up land here put in houses and very far down on the point there are some houses although this area was preserved. So in the 80s the Audubon uh, Society of Connecticut uh, began to work uh, with a number of other uh, nonprofit uh, organizations that would preserve land and they, they were able to uh, acquire this piece of land and, and uh, turn it into a uh, wildlife sanctuary and education center. In the mid 90s this, uh, the uh, original hotel was uh, knocked down because it was not able to be restored and uh, now you see the uh, the uh, welcome center that exists here now and that we're all enjoying so i hope you, uh, you know, will come and, and take uh, take advantage of helping us out and being good partners here uh, on earth day and then continue to visit the place and, and help out the projects during the rest of the year the audubon center at milford point is a uh, is a beautiful place to be and it's some place that, that we're excited about this year to begin to cooperate, take care of uh, with our, the Earth Day group as, uh, along with the uh, you know, friends that, that, that run this, uh, this facility. Uh, some facts about the Milford Audubon Center. This is an eight and a half acre piece of land that is the upland part of a salt marsh that's a hundred times that size. And, and that salt marsh at eight, almost 850 acres is the, at the mouth of the Housatonic River as it goes into Long Island Sound. Uh, a lot of history with that. Uh, tons of it on the website, check that out. Uh, lots of uh, uh, fishing going on here, lots of uh, wildlife, a lot of rare uh, and endangered uh, birds uh, come to visit here. It's, an, it's, a, uh, it's a, a federally recognized IBA or uh, important bird area uh, for, for uh, rare and endangered species. Uh, you'll have uh, <clears throat> areas on the on the beach side where uh, piping plover are being uh, protected. Uh, birds like least tern will be here. Uh, you've got uh, osprey in, out in the uh, marsh. Uh, marshes are really the sort of grand central station of many different habitats. They're up upland, down uh, uh, and, and uh, wetland meeting together. Uh, so you've got this this really you know huge. Uh, you know, like I said, Grand Central Station or, or UN of, of, of uh, activity, activity going on here with the habitats. They've actually, uh, it's been uh, uh, discovered that, that a, uh, the amount of, of, uh, of biology that happens in, in a wetland is four times what you'd find in any uh, fertilized cornfield in, in Iowa. I mean, it's a tremendous amount of stuff going on here. 
Uh, you can imagine you going to uh, the difference between you showing up at a, at a quickie mart or going to a super stop and shop. You know, we're at the super stop and shop of nature right here. So this is the part of the Wheeler Wildlife Management Area. That's the name of it. 840 acres. It's also uh, uh, part of the Stuart McKinney uh, National Wildlife Refuge, which uh, starts uh, upstate about another uh, 30 miles and goes all the way down to the Norwalk Islands. So it's a tremendous resource uh, for us and we're lucky to have it. Down below me is a uh, really interesting display here at the Audubon Center. It's a, uh, an exhibit uh, demonstrating a, a Native American hut and also a thing called a, a, a shell midden, which is a, actually a trash mound uh, from the oysters that, that would be collected here, the clams and the oysters. Uh, Milford Point was well known for many years as a, as a very productive place to go and harvest food uh, for the early settlers and Native Americans. They learned, early settlers learned it from the Native Americans. Uh, so down here you'll see one of the exhibits that, that uh, about how this place might have looked 200 years ago and, and, and longer. We're at the uh, private access road at, uh, at Milford Point at the Audubon Center uh, to show you what the uh, invasive plant management project will be here. That's one of the major projects that's going to happen here on Earth Day and it really needs, ha needs help like during the rest of the year too. There's going to be trash, there's invasive plant management, and, uh, and really it's about it because the place is decently well kept. Uh, You'll see at the edge of the road here, there are things like, like uh, Japanese honeysuckle vine, there's bittersweet vines, there's some uh, multiflora rose. Uh, the place is pretty much a tangle and a mess all along the edge of the road. As I mentioned in the other videos, uh, you get a lot of invasive plants where you have a lot of traffic. And you'll see it's very dramatic here that the uh, invasive plants really only line the edge of the road up here. And if you take a look over my shoulder here, you're going to see that, that the rest of the, the, the upland area on the way down to the beach is actually pretty clean. So the effort will be right here along the edge of the road. And uh, if you're not sure what the plants are that you're looking for, uh, you'll, be, you'll ask your site leader uh, or, or one of the directors from the Audubon Center to identify the plants for you. And then with a, or the team partner, you'll cut it and pull the material out and, uh, and dispose of it uh, as they ask you to. One of the things that I like best about the Audubon Center here at Milford Point is that there are some pretty rare uh, beach and dune plants that, that exist here. Right here, this is called a, a, a beach plum. And it's, it's really, it's, it's a great plant because you can actually, during the uh, late summer and, and early fall, you can actually get fruit off of this thing that you can eat. Uh, one, of the, one of the funny things though that, that helps me remember what this plant is, is that uh, I was told one time that, that the beach plums, you always pick them from higher up than, than, than a dog would walk, right? And then you probably figure out why. So, uh, and then down here, there is uh, a rare uh, a Connecticut cactus we have. It. It's called Opuntia. So believe it or not, we have cactus in Connecticut and it grows right here at the Audubon Center.